Welcome to Small Lathe. We're making stainless steel strip clamps. Let's get to it. We need to clamp the forge somewhere. Now, Miss Piggy, or uh, our forge burner. So, Miss Piggy has one of these. This is a standard 90 degree clamp to hold cabinets and so on. And it's bent in sort of ways to allow it to hold this properly. And we usually just bind it. But this is getting awkward. This is getting not so fun and simple to do. So I thought of making a small adjustment. I have this. Several years ago, somebody threw this away in the street. It was a stainless steel strip designed to hold heavy weights. Obviously I kept it and it's very very useful. So if you find something like that, I highly recommend it. I've made my own table clamps or table map clamps this way. It's really really useful. So we're going to find out what we can do with this thing. First things first, let's mark a spot. Let's see how much we need to bind it. Take a piece of paper. See if we can wrap more than half of it. Oh yeah. That's more than what we need. So let's fold it. And this should, uh, should do the trick as a binder. Right. So I'm going to take the full length here. So I can fold the edges. Just like I did over here. It helps. It helps prevent me from getting cut. And it helps uh, getting this to work more properly because it tenses a bit. Okay, we're going to need two more tools. One is this thing. Okay, we got both ends more or less flat. Might as well want to break the edges. While I'm working with it, I've got some pretty mean edges there. Technically, I'd like to cut, drill a hole because we'll be riveting it on this. So we need a hole that's four millimeter in diameter. But uh, my hand drill is not here, so we're just going to mark it, and I'm going to drill it once I'm done folding it the way I want it. So, uh, that's my caliper. Good enough. So we got two pieces of steel. I like the shiny part on the outside. So we're going to bend this area. That'll give us nice cornered edges. Like so. This will give us nice edges. We won't get cut. And now we just have to coil it. Keep folding it by hand better more has to be roundish remember it's a spring clamps a uh, bit too loose let's open it up That's better. First of all, less tolerance. Second, it's not going to go anywhere. Good enough already, but I want it ever so slightly tighter. Remember, there's going to be a rivet head over there, so it's not going to have all that space it has right now. Alright, let's 
give it a shot. Oh yeah. There we go. It snaps shut. And this thing, and now we can. Now it takes some effort to get it off. And I think it's pretty good. Snaps. If we we'll want to, we can just narrow the ed the edges, the tips. But it's pretty springy. Like so and snap it. Snaps on, doesn't want to come off. And now we got it tight. It's not falling off. It's not vibrating. There we go. Got two of these. The vise is not here, so I can't drill it. It's uh, up in the porch, as uh, you guys probably seen from the last videos. It's been put to good use. And I'm going just to clamp it like so in the vise, drill hole. That'll be the end of that using a hand drill. We'll need four millimeter rivets. I have got some three millimeter ones and five millimeter rivets. This will not do. We need a four millimeter rivet. Just making sure. Actually, a five millimeter rivet is exactly what we need. These are stainless. So we'll take just two of these. That to do the trick. If you don't know what rivets are, get to your local shop and ask for a pop rivet. This is this thing. My dad gave it to me. It cost him 58 shekels at the time. It's still not, not expensive, even today. All it does it whoops. All it does is pull this rod backwards. This forces the head, the bulb here, to inflate, go th pass through this area, the neck, inflate it, widen it, and then you got something really locked tightly. Once it can't move anymore, this snaps. There's a weakness point there. You don't have to go with stainless ones. There are aluminum ones. This is a 5mm aluminum rivet. And you've got brass rivets as well. This is the neck area that I've talked about. It's just ever so slightly narrower, but about uh, a millimeter in diameter, which is quite a lot. And you can find these in any length and width and whatever you want. So this is a 3mm aluminum rivet. And we've got uh, some... 4mm ones, 4mm refers to this. Now the rivet itself is not exactly 4mm, it's a bit less, it's 0.2mm less, so it's 3.8mm and you can put it through a 4mm hole, that's the whole point. So that's a 101, quick 101 on rivets. These are really, really useful. Let's get that away from here, it just fell off. This concludes our... Uh, short build. Let's snap these on. One and two. I'm pretty pleased with these. So there goes our holders. So these metal strips are extremely useful. You can make really many many things from these clamps and whatever else you need put these over there so that's it thank you for watching hope you enjoyed hope you'll find the use for something like that yourself in the future be creative and i'll be seeing you in another day thanks for watching